The M Audio Code 49 features four zones, and this allows you to split the keyboard up into four different parts. So in this video, we're going to walk through how to configure that inside of your DAW so that you can play four different instruments. In Ableton Live, I've gone through an instantiated hybrid onto four different tracks. And they're labeled this way, one hybrid, two, three, and four. And each one of these hybrid instances has a different preset. You can see that by the name. So the key thing is this, each one of these four tracks has to receive a different MIDI channel for the input. The first instance of hybrid is configured to receive MIDI from code 49, MIDI channel number one, and we've set the monitor in so that we don't have to set it on record enable. By default, it's set to auto, which means I have to enable record. But if I just wanna play the instrument without recording, I can configure this to the monitor input, and it turns the knob here blue, showing you that it's on monitor input. On the second track, we've gone through and done the same thing. So code 49 for the input and MIDI channel number two. On the third track, MIDI channel number three, and on the fourth track, MIDI channel number four. So now if we jump in our MIDI controller and I set the global channel to MIDI channel number one, it's going to play that first instrument on our DAW. Let's change the global channel to MIDI channel number two. Number three. And number four. So if we want to access all those four instruments, let's split this entire keyboard into four zones and assign each zone to each one of those MIDI channels. Let's change our global channel back to number one. So for this, you want to click and hold zone. And then zone number one will flash. So you can easily just choose the lowest note and the highest note for zone one. So we'll enable C1 to B1. We'll go to zone number two, C2 to B2. Zone number three, C3 to B3. And lastly, for C4 into the last C, which is the last octave there. So at this point, I can enable any one of these zones. I can turn them on, or I can press and hold them all simultaneously. The next thing you want to do is assign a different MIDI channel per zone. So for this, we'll click and hold zone again. Hit zone one, choose channel. Hit zone two. So if I enable all the four zones, now they are all active. So by using the zones, you can create some really cool patches that you can use for performance or for production. The key thing to remember is that you have to click and hold zone, choose the zone, select your range, select your channel, 
And when you're done, click zone again, and you're back into your regular preset.